Our Great Big Backyard, Laura Bush and Jenna Bush Hager, illustrated by Jacqueline Rogers. Huddle, my BFF Hank said. I have our whole glorious summer mapped out. Hank's summer plans. Hank wanted to watch a different movie every day. Ricky was going to create a YouTube channel. Louise and I couldn't wait to have an epic starship tournament. It was going to be the best summer of our lives. But that was before. That night, Mom gave me the bad news. We're going to spend the summer on a road trip. Dad's map was different from Hank's. But I was supposed to spend it with my friends. Jane, there is more to life than staring at a screen. You'll love being on the open road. As if I didn't have enough to worry about, my pest of a brother Sam kept bothering me. Come on, Jane, let's go outside. We'll practice camping. No way, I'm busy. On the last day of school, my parents picked me up for what they called the Great American Road Trip. I sent my friends a message. I'm leaving on a road trip. Don't know when I'll be back again. Oh boy, I hate to go. As we drove south, my parents sang along to show tunes. How humiliating. At least I had their phone to keep me company. Jane, put that away. You're missing some beautiful sights. All I am missing is time with my friends. First stop, Everglades National Park. Swamps, cypress trees with creepy hanging moss and mosquitoes as far as the eye could see. Big deal. There's absolutely nothing to see here. We drove forever to get to our next stop. As we crossed the Mississippi River, Sam waved at a riverboat captain. I hid behind my iPad. Ahoy, matey! Next stop, Big Bend National Park. I couldn't wait to get out of the car so I could finally play Starship. Jane, please put that away. Come look through the telescope. Oh, wow. The sky in Texas was huge and bright. Then, bless my lucky stars, a meteor shower lit up the sky like fireworks, brighter than any screen I had ever seen. We traveled west across the desert. Sam and I pretended we were astronauts on Mars. Next stop, Grand Canyon National Park. We tiptoed over the skywalk like acrobats on a tightrope. The river so far below looked like a shiny ribbon. As we explored, I sent a selfie to my crew. Yep, that's me on Blaze, my mule. The only thing missing is you. When we rafted down the Colorado River, I was a pirate captain with Sam as my first mate, navigating treacherous waters. Next stop, Yellowstone National Park. We were park rangers on the lookout for animals. Mountain lions, buffalo, and bears, oh my! We waited and we waited for Old Faithful to explode into the air. Then finally, five, four, Three, two, one, blast off! It was like a real starship shooting off into space. Last stop, Yosemite National Park. Sam and I served our last dinner on the road. Fireflies hung in the air like fluttering stars. We pretended we were cowboys. The mountain went up and up and up, straight into the sky, watching over us. I felt really small, but really great, too, like I was a part of something big. The next morning, I couldn't find my most prized possession, my tablet. Jane, you packed it away a week ago, Mom said. How can I tell my friends we're coming home? Wait, I got it. Dear Frank, hi from Yosemite. You'd love it here. Be home soon. XX Jane. What did you like best? I asked Sam. The campfires. I thought about all the stars. I'm going to miss our big adventure. I was sad when we got home, but then I took Baxter into our backyard and I had a brilliant idea. Mom, can my friends come over for a camp out? I told Hank and Ricky and Louise all about the places we'd seen. I had the best summer after all. It's spectacular out there. Just then, a shooting star zoomed across the sky. Look, it's beautiful right here in our own backyard. The end.